eating with me. And then he's like, oh, where are you from? This and that. And uh, Shay here, back at it again with a different kind of video here in Istanbul, Turkey. About to go to this very prolific mosque. Um, I asked my host which one is more uh, significant, this one to my right or uh, the blue mosque to my left. And he actually said uh, the one to my right uh, just because it has more history. And uh, the Greeks actually don't like this just because I think this was consecrated about the same time when they expelled all the Christians uh, and decided to go down this route of being uh, Muslim. So, uh, just going to queue up right now. This line is massive, actually, folks. Wrap so around here. And my host was mentioning as well, this mosque opens up at 9 a.m., uh, 10, 20 minutes beforehand. It was queued up for quite a while. So uh, let's kind of just uh, teleport uh, inside and we'll see the rates for going to the mosque as well. Uh, just to see how beautiful the interior is. Stay tuned. So, uh, first mosque we're gonna go into is the Hagia Sophia. So, history has it, uh, it actually represents holy wisdom. Uh, in ancient Greek, it's of course like something else, blah blah blah. Anyways, so uh, originally a Greek Orthodox church, the site has changed between being a mosque and a museum since the fall of the Byzantine Empire. Nowadays, uh, if you wanted to kind of just like do those prayers, uh, I remember my host was saying like for mosques, they do like prayer six times a day. If you wanted to do that, you can. For locals as well, it's free. Uh, for Tourists like myself, you do have to pay, uh, so that's a nice tidbit there. So this has been around for a hot minute. It was. It said it was built in 537, and then the uh, minarets, I believe that's probably the spires, were added in the 15th and 16th century uh, when it did become a mosque there. So. That's a hot minute for sure, like 500 uh, AD. That's uh, like, that's a, a hot minute for sure. Um, yeah, it is a UNESCO Heritage World Site. And um, I'm just looking at the interior. There's a bunch of like uh, Islamic kind of uh, symbols on the inside and the dome-like interior is quite interesting as well. Uh, it was originally built by the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I uh, as a Christian cathedral of Constantinople uh, between 532 and 537. And it was designed by Greek geometers there. So it has a bunch of uh, history in the sense that there was like the Romans who consecrated it and then designed by like the Greeks. And then afterwards, like with the change of uh, the powers there with the Byzantine and Ottoman Empire, it, it's pretty much like going from how I like to analogize it, like vegetarian to like carnivore to vegetarian to carnivore. It's just like one of those interesting facts where uh, if there's like a power struggle, uh, this is kind of like the tipping point of that. And it's kind of interesting as well, like Turkey, it's like borderline Europe, borderline Asia. So it's kind of like that cosmopolitan mix of like Arabic people, Christian people, uh, just people in general, they flock here. And um, I guess like before the United States became a thing, uh, here was that cosmopolitan nature of where everyone would be, in fact, uh, is there? coming through. Stay tuned. Really good progress. I think I was queued up for probably 30 minutes. I don't think inside I'm gonna take too, too long, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, when we do get in, we'll 
absolutely be floored by the absolute detail of these spires, the domes, the colors, and just see that flavor. Stay tuned. Closer and closer, near to the uh, inside, hopefully. Stay tuned. As we're progressing through, there's like some nice detailing here. I want to say it's like a gazebo situation, like the gold coloring or yellow coloring with the Arabic art. or writing, sorry. Security. I have to be mindful of my video time. I have four hours left and I do have like another place I'm traveling to so I'll try to keep this Turkish series on the lighter note. Here's some rules as well. your specs uh, you do take off your shoes so I don't know what side is what so I'm gonna take off my shoes right now let's put in 78 The interior of this is insane, folks. In addition to that as well, The columns, the arches, absolutely unreal. And I really like how there's chandeliers sprinkled throughout. inside here is absolutely wild. I like the chandeliers. These pillars are rich in history here.
The detail is absolutely insane. It's like a Baroque gold kind of. It's the detailing on this. I want to show you guys. And this mall is absolutely unreal. And the carpet is very nice and soft as well. Whew. I love the chandelier situation. Folks, I'm gonna prop this up. Absolutely unreal in here, folks. The detail, the arches, the pillars. Very grand. Very uh, interior for the Sokia High Mosque. Gonna head to the uh, Blue Mosque now, see how that is on the inside. But it's very busy right now. Tour buses, uh, hop on, hop off buses, and droves. Gonna head to the Blue Mosque, let's teleport there now. Alright, folks, just wanted to show you guys how bumping it is. They got like a pretzel stand here. Square is like open with all these benches, people just chilling out. Just wanted to show you how lively it is here in Istanbul, which is nice. Let's try to get to the Blue Mosque. So the sign says prayers only at the moment. 1.45 it reopens, so it's 8.30 to 12.15, and then 1.45 to 4. Is it close prayer time? So, gonna have to come back at 145. Yes, 145. Cool. That is traditional Turkish head and dress wear, but it's Uzbekistan. And, uh, yeah, they're really down with each other. It's cool. So, continuing on this video, going to the Blue Mosque right now. It was closed until 1.45, so I can only be in there until 4 o'clock for visiting. And the other instance after 4 is for prayer only, so hopefully there isn't a lineup to go in. Buyurun. 
On the ceiling is absolutely insane. There's a lot of construction work at the moment. As you can see, bunch of scaffolding. I would honestly say the detail, this compared to the uh, Sophia Haga Mosque. This one seems like it's not on the sheer scale, but it's getting there. Outside, I would have to say this is the more beautiful mosque, the blue mosque. But uh, yeah, so I will recap my thoughts of both mosques. Very cultural, uh, huge importance when it comes to uh, Turkish culture there. Stay tuned, I'll recap my thoughts. and. Uh, if you're new, click subscribe if you're returning. Appreciate you. Hello, take care. Signing off. Bye. Jay here. New, click subscribe if you're returning. Appreciate you. So, this is a recap video of the two mosques in Old Town of Istanbul. Uh, so, the Sophia Hayega, and I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, and the Blue Mosque. So, uh, the exterior, the Blue Mosque looks aesthetically better. I just want to put that out there. But historically speaking, uh, the Sophia one, it's very important. Uh, I mean, like, it's uh, very old. It was first built as an Orthodox Christian church. And then it's been cycling back between a church and a mosque, church and a mosque. Um, so, yeah, if you're Greek, you're probably not going to like that uh, mosque because it transitioned. And that's where the Greek uh, holdings were, but then they lost that battle and then the Turks came through the Ottoman Empire. But anyways, uh, the interior, very breathtaking. Um, there's a section where you have to remove your shoes. And I do wanna highlight during certain periods of time for the Blue Mosque, uh, individuals are not allowed to enter uh, just because they are still active mosques where people pray. So it's just one of those things where when you go in, right, uh, the interior, it's very grand and uh, ostentatious, like the domes, the Arabic writing, and uh, the chandeliers, uh, the colors, the everything is just so detailed and well thought out. Every time I travel to a different country, I find that the most uh, expansive buildings are the royalty buildings and the uh, religious buildings. And that just proved that point as well, where the religious building, the mosque, they're absolutely breathtaking. 
Although, like, there was a lot of uh, construction in the Blue Mosque, I can already tell, like, those colors. Uh, if they kind of remove the scaffolding and, like, the uh, coverings there, it will be beautiful. But, of course, just the exterior looks amazing. But, anyways, uh, yeah, Istanbul and Old Town, if you ever travel there, make a day trip out of it, right? Um, I made the mistake. I wouldn't say I made the learning opportunity of just staying there. It was central to everything, restaurants, that, and I enjoyed myself. But uh, if you're staying there for like three or four days, I would probably just do like a day trip or half a day trip uh, to the old town because that's more than enough. Um, yeah, hope you're enjoying this Istanbul series. If you're new, click subscribe. If you're turning, appreciate you. Take care, signing off, and bye for now.